greetings and salutations. It is, I should probably open this, apologies. Okay, it is Saturday, September 19th. Happy birthday, Hermione Granger. And I am very much still starting my coffee this morning. It's stupid early. But I had to drive the husband to school, so. Let's uh, talk Diablo. So the new season is out and there is a new way of leveling your season characters and unlocking all the fun stuff. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna little season character. I rolled a witch doctor. Her name is Slimella. She's pretty freaking awesome. She has all the hats and whatnot, so that's pretty cool. Um, and so the season journey is four chapters to unlock the basics, and then there's little bits of extra for that to kind of improve the portrait. But every season you're gonna get a chance to get a pet, I think, and a new uh, portrait frame. That's what this. That's what it is this season. I'm assuming it's gonna be the same. And then after you complete the four chapters, as you can see, I'm working on chapter four right now. There's, as far as we can tell, two additional um, sets of requirements. Um, they're not called chapters anymore. They're called something else. And those improve what the portrait looks like, and it looks a bit cooler. Um, the husband is finishing up the last one now, but I am still on this. So, chapter one is really straightforward. Um, you need to complete five bounties, you need to complete a Nephilim Rift, you need to socket a gem into an item, which means you need to be at least level 15. You need to slay one of the five final bosses of each act, so the Butcher, Belial, Asmodan, Diablo, or Malthael. Um, you need to get the Blacksmith, the Jeweler, and the Mystic to level 5. Um, and you need to get to level 35. So if you do this on story mode, or campaign mode, whatever you want to call it, this is going to be very difficult and you're going to have to get a lot far, farther than level 35. Do this because you need to um, do adventure mode. I would recommend, my personal opinion, start on level, start on, uh, this, start, oh my god, English, start on adventure mode. Do your bounties, do the Nephilim Rift, save up all your money, get your three um, craftsmen, craftspeople, craftsfolk, craftsfolk, that's what we're going to call them, craftsfolk, to level five. And then I would recommend either just keep doing those, you don't need to do anything crazy, or I went through, I went, I made sure I went through the campaign once, and then it was just done, and then I could just stick to bounties and whatnot for getting everything else. So the very, pretty much what I did was I made sure I got to level 35 and then I kind of did everything afterwards. Um, but there's definitely no specific order that you have to do these in. The nice thing is if you do stuff that are actually criteria in the next few chapters, it'll count, which is really, really nice. You don't have to worry about having to go back and redo stuff. So that's chapter one. Chapter two, um, craft an item at the blacksmith. This is something that if you're like me, you're going to be doing this while you're still on chapter one stuff. So it's really nice to have kind of that checked off before you get to the next one. Make sure you do a Nephilim Rift on hard difficulty. Slay, again, one of the five final bosses of each of the acts on hard difficulty or higher. Um, fully equip one of your followers. Raise all of your craft spoke to level 10 and reach level 60 too complicated there. The 60 is kind of annoying. The level requirements I find are usually the last ones that I end up getting. Uh, chapter 3, you want to transmog an item at the Mystic, craft a gem of Imperial or greater quality, um, and then it tells you that if you put a emerald into your weapon you get a crit hit chance, it's a great big damage boost. Um, defeat one of the five big bosses on Master or higher, get all of your mis get all of your craft spoke to level 12, hit level 70, and spend blood shards at Kadala, and I didn't know this, but Kadala apparently only has a 10% chance to give you legendary. I actually thought it was kind of higher. It probably depends on the area because I'm certain that there are different types of legendaries for each one, but yeah, just 10% chance. And then chapter four, and this is the one that I'm working on. So I have one of nine objectives complete. So I uh, replace a property on an item with enchanting at the mystic. Um, you want to extract a legendary power using Kanai's Cube. Kanai's Cube is a new thing that came out with the newest patch. Um, it's not super difficult. All you're going to want to do is you're going to go into Act 3. You want to go to the ruins of Szechuan after you talk to... Um, he's going to be in Act 3. He's going to be over here. You're going to talk to him, or he might be actually by Tyrael, I can't remember. Um, you're going to talk to him. He's going to tell you, hey, find my cube. There's going to be a little book that he gives you. And uh, you're going to go to the ruins of Szechuan. And you're gonna just kind of explore until you find the cube. You're gonna have to defeat a, like a little mob. I think they're an elite pack, I don't really remember. And then you bring it back to him and then you unlock this thing, which allows you to do some pretty cool stuff. Um, maybe we'll talk about that in another video and I'll kind of explain better how to get it. 
Um, so, oh, and the quick cut to look at your objectives, you can click on the little book right here, or you can just hit Shift J. Um, so, extract a legendary power. Um, slay any of the five bosses on Torment 1 or higher. You want to kill um, each of the four Key Wardens. It tells you where to find them, and you want to make sure you're on Torment 1 or higher. Um, you want to do a Greater Rift level 10 on your own. Make sure you make, make sure you don't do this with a friend, you do it solo. And then equip all of your inventory slots with legendary items that have a minimum required level of 70. And that is it for chapter 4. So doing all of that, it is quite a bit. It takes you some time unless you're, you know, crazy like my husband who spends 6 hours a night for a couple days getting it. Like you, said, like you can see, I'm still kind of plugging away at this. Um, you get a pretty cool portrait frame in my opinion. And then you get this little pet guy who's adorable. And then again, there are two other chapters later that will allow you to uh, kind of improve the looks on this. I don't know what they look like because I am I just told myself if I could get to chapter four. <laughs> if I could finish chapter four, I would be happy. So I'll probably play this a little bit. Not today because I am hosting my friend who is getting married in one week, uh, her half of her bachelorette party. So that's going to be fun. I have to clean up my house a bit. It's kind of a mess. Like, I'm sure none of you are surprised if you know me in real life. Anyway. That is it for today. I hope you found that helpful. And yeah, our Diablo. I can't, we haven't done much Diablo lately, so that's when our, the husband and I are maybe thinking of doing a Diablo series, just the two of us at some point. So maybe we'll do that at some point. Anyway, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.